Hello everyone, it's Justine. Today I'm going to be making a stitched card and I'm going to use two stitch dies. So the main die is this one, which is what the video is all about. And that's called Stitched Kaleidoscope Hexi Gems. So you can see it has that kaleidoscope effect here on the side. And I'll make that by adding some layers here. And then I'm going to add these flowers as embellishment if you will and these flowers are from the stitched floral flip frame and that is from august's release so that is still available so i will link both of those stitching dies in the description as well as some dmc links for some really awesome thread today i've already stitched half of it just for the sake of the video so my stitching is going to look something like this so let's just jump right into the stitching Anytime I stitch, I usually use smaller needles. This one is rather large, but it's the only one that I can currently find right now because I have misplaced my stitching container where I keep all of my needles. So go figure that that would happen when I need to film. But anyway, just because I'm feeling a little bit odd today and not my usual, I'm not going to hide the tail. I'm going to use tape and it just kind of make it work. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like allergy season or whatever, but I'm just in a mood. <laughs> Can anyone else relate? <laughs> anyway, there is nothing at all <laughs> to complain about, but I think that I'm just kind of busy. Anyway, for stitching, I always go from the outside into the center, and I'm going to use this big hole on the top as my center. So I'm going up through the outside here and down through the center hole, just going in and out. Now this die is definitely one that's going to take a little bit more thread because the stitch pieces are, I mean, it's about an inch to an inch and a half depending on the position of each hole here, but it's definitely going to use some more thread. So that has a really fun stitched area look and then on this bottom piece it just is kind of crossed and it's really neat so I'll just finish this up I hope you're doing so well the day that this is posted May 12th is a Friday so happy Friday if you are an avid stitcher I'd love to know what your favorite stitch die from Spellbinders just because I'm curious. I really love the stitch floral flip frame that I got these flowers from, but I do like this one because I think that this could be kind of a fun way to make masculine and feminine birthday cards. Um, today I just kind of played around with some teals. I'm almost done with this part and when I am finished I will just go ahead and tape the tail. Cause like I said, I'm in a mood. I think it might just be like the end of the year and I'm just kind of like stressed, I guess. I don't know, I'm trying not to be, but, oh, and I got a letter in the mail saying that I might have jury duty starting in June. So it's just like, ugh. just when I think I would have time for my crafting and everything, I might have jury duty, so. June might be interesting for videos. <laughs> Time will tell. But, you know, as a citizen, I gotta do my duty. So if I'm called, that will be that. No biggie. But <laughs> that's just the way it goes with life. <laughs> okay. Now for the bottom part, I'm just using this darker thread and you can kind of see on the first part that I did, it just makes this zigzag crossed look. And if you can see on the paper itself, there is a bit of a etch from the die that shows you exactly where to stitch. So I'm basically just gonna follow that. Again, I'm going up through the outside. And since there is not one central hole that I'm going in and out of each time, with this die, I am just going to follow the etching, which makes this really easy. And that's just kind of one thing that I love about stitching is that you can make it, you can stitch really wherever. 
I've stitched on road trips, in the yard, <laughs> on a lake, <laughs> on a boat. You can stitch anywhere and I just love that. And now that it is kind of becoming that summertime season, at least it's warming up here in Minnesota finally, take it outside and get some fresh air. It's so good for you and some sunshine. So that's what's up. Now this thread is not DMC, the darker one, and it is so naughty. I'm making all these knots. When I first started stitching, I kind of had the attitude like, well, it doesn't matter. You don't have to use expensive thread. The other thread will do. Well, now that I have been stitching a lot, I don't know, maybe I've become a thread snob. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Nancy Stamps of the Glimmer Snob Club. But like, it's just the DMC stuff is so nice because it slides around, you know? Maybe you know, if you're a stitcher, what I'm talking about, but it doesn't knot as much, which to me is worth the extra couple cents. Now you could go across all of these one way and then go back down the other way. And I think that's what I'll do just because I didn't do that on the other one. And I'm just curious about like how that would be. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to turn out exactly the same because I'm just following the lines, but I think it will just kind of make the back look a little different. So we'll see what the back looks like. The back on that one's a little rough. <laughs> now, if you are interested in more stitching videos and inspiration, I do have a whole playlist on my channel called Stitching on Cards that this one is the latest video that's gonna be added to that, but I have a lot of videos on there, so if you would love inspiration or just tips and tricks for stitching, check out that video. I don't put every stitching trick in every stitching video because it would just take forever, but I have learned a few things because of trial and error, and, <laughs> and I think that Stitching is just such a fun part of card making, like die cutting and glimmering. So anyway, if you can see the embossing folder that I used here, it's the embossing folder of the month for May 2023 here. Since it is May, I use this month. It is so adorable with these candles. And, you know, I hadn't made a birthday card yet with this embossing folder and I thought today is the day because a little texture behind a stitched card just gives it a little oomph and I think that is so neat. All right, I'm almost at the end here. Then I'm going to make a line on the end and then go back the other direction just so it matches. Okay, there's my line, and now I will go the other direction. Another knot. Hmm. <laughs> I was also pretty impressed because Spellbinders is now <clears throat> carrying more of the DMC products. I noticed they had their needle threader which I purchased at Michael's like a year-ish ago, and I really do find that useful. Unfortunately, I have lost it because that's where with my needles. <laughs> so I am using this one right now. It's just a basic needle threader, and then the end has a piece where you can cut the thread, but not my favorite. It is what it is. So annoyed with these knots. Ugh. If this keeps knotting, I'm just going to finish stitching with some cute music. <laughs> that way I can edit out all the knots. Oh, that's lit. The last straw. Okay, cue the cute music.
And of course, there was no knots. So, <laughs> isn't that just how life goes? Okay, let's take a look at the back. So you can see on this one, it is definitely a cleaner look going <laughs> back and forth and going all the way up and then all the way down again. It just kind of creates that <laughs> nice stitching on the back as opposed to this one where it's kind of all over the place, but to each their own, I suppose. Both give the same look, so I don't know. It's not really the destination, it's the journey. <laughs> In this case, it's about the destination of getting this finished and not about the journey of how your uh, stitches look on the back. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly hide my tail like so and move along. Now this die is part of the Hexi Gems collection. If you have it, if you haven't checked that out, I definitely would. I I love the playfulness of the hexagons and I love the sentiments that come with this collection. They are sentiment strips like this one. So the way that those are designed just makes the most sense to me because you can glimmer all of the sentiments at one time and the placement of them is one piece so you're not wasting glimmer foil it's quicker with timing for glimmering and then there's one die that cuts them all out which is just you know perfect it's just chef's kiss it's perfect you're not wasting paper you're not wasting uh, hot foil you're not wasting your time to me it is a win 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 so <laughs> I just I made a bunch of them. Now I have them on my desk for future use, which is always fun for me. Now let's figure out the kaleidoscope part. So you can see here, if you, if you aren't interested in the kaleidoscope, this is what it will look like. But I think it is really a neat little touch and it looks like a ton of work. And all it is is you're gluing two pieces of paper to the stitch die. So <laughs> That's it. Um, I went with the light and dark color to be together because I wanted that to make a little bit of a contrast in the back here. So I'm going to just use a little bit of liquid glue. Back to work. All right. <laughs> there we go. It's gluing. And I'm not being too fussy about glue placement, just getting it on the ends because it's a little piece of paper and it will stick. All right, now I have my dark blue that I'm going to just line up and all of a sudden you'll see it poking through. It's really cute and very delicate, but sweet. All right, now for the next piece. See, that was not hard at all very easy and it creates a nice little oomph a nice detail to the back all right that looks cute Okay, now that I'm done with the stitched part, I'm going to glue these two together. Now you could have them just neat and just kind of touch like this, but because I have this embossing folder, I want it to kind of come to about there. So I'm going to overlap this whole section with the other one. Then to glue on my whole stitching part, I'm going to use liquid glue. It works really nice with the thread and another way you could do it is use some foam and pop it up, but I am gonna pop up my sentiment. So I think I'm gonna just keep this glued right to the light blue piece. That should do it. Let's grab my tweezers and get the placement Get my placement in the perfect spot. All right. Great. 
That looks good to me. I'm just going to hold it down. As I am holding these flowers, I used a new technique to me. Definitely not new to the stitching world, but I had never tried doing a English knot, I think is what it's called, on the flowers before. But look how cute they are. They have a little extra dimension. Personally, I love a rhinestone in the center of a stitched flower, but I thought why not try something new and give it a give it a try so that's what i did now i'm gonna just tentatively plan to put the stickers put those there all right i think it's time for my sentiment to go on so here's that sentiment strip i did some hot foiling on it so it is with the gold hot foil from spellbinders i'll just stick that right on the empty piece that looks so good I love the way that that looks okay all right <laughs> just excited here now I'll stick on my stitched flowers and I think that will be it for this card so if you have enjoyed watching this video please let me know in the comments and hit the like button go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and hopefully better <laughs> as I'm trying to improve every time in your future. But it really does help me if you are subscribed and if you interact with the video. So please like, comment, subscribe, all the good things. Anyway, <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed it. I know that there's a certain, there's certain subscribers of mine that watch literally everything, which is the sweetest thing. And a few of you like certain colors so I know Sue you like blue so I <laughs> hope you like this card Sue if you're watching and I just hope that everyone has a wonderful day so happy crafting we'll see you next time bye